the uh, purpose of this tutorial will be uh, importing changing the elevation of contour lines that are in meters into feet. So the first thing you would have to do is import the shape files for the contour data. You, you might get those data from LiDAR or USGS. So we go into insert and in map import and we collect our shape files and say okay. Now you have a couple of options here. Let's look first at the um, data that we have. We want to highlight the data we want. So we go into data and go to create object data. Select field and want to make sure that our elevation that we're interested in is checked. So you can deselect it, but in this case we want it selected. And say OK. And OK. So we have this data here. Now we go we make sure we select import polygons and close polylines so that our uh, data will come in, in in polygons and not in pieces. So we go and say OK. And we do a zoom extent and here's our, our contours. Now the issue we're having here is our elevation. Uh, if you select one and go to properties, you see that the elevation comes in as meter 44 and the whole purpose of our um, tutorial is to convert this into feet. Now the attribute listed down below says our elevation should be 146 which is the right elevation so now we want this elevation to come up here so to do that we go to the next step and that is to save this file and close it so we can save it as we save it as a drawing in our C our C drive and I will explain later the reason behind that so we can just call this LiDAR data and save and make sure it's in your C drive and save. After saving, we we'll go ahead and close this file. <coughs> we open a new file. Now in open a new file, we'll, we have to attach our drawing that we just saved. So we go into drawings and make sure you're in the map explorer tab. We go into drawings, right click and attach. We go to our C drive, which is the only option. We look for our file, lighter, darker, and make sure it's highlighted here. So we have this and we say OK. Now you know it's in this drawing because it's in our uh, drawing list. So you might not necessarily see it here but you'll see it here. Okay. Now we the next thing we want to do is query our elevation. We go into current query, right click and define. Now in this dialog we select our location and we make sure we have all selected and we say OK <clears throat> and you'll see it come up here. Now the next thing we go to alter properties we're interested in our elevation. You select that. You go to expressions and select our elevation in the object data folder. Expand. You see your elevation here. Highlight. You must highlight and say OK. And make sure you add it and you see it up here. And you say OK. So after that's done, we go ahead and execute query where we just, um, uh, the ele elevation, we have to execute that and we say execute. We can do zoom extend to bring our contours in. And there we are. At this point, we're just in the preview mode so we can't touch anything yet. So for us to go ahead and draw 
our contours will go back to current query right click define <clears throat> and now we want to draw so in the query mode we select draw and execute that now we can test to see our elevation and if we do a properties check on this and now it says 156 elevation and also in the attribute it's labeled 156 so we know we have our elevation done right and all you do now is save your drawing we can call it updated data or whatever you would want to call it and you say okay to this and that is it thank you